Listen, everyone. All is in place. We may begin. Lambert, prepare the apparatuses. Escort, go. Last I heard, my dear, I give the orders around here, not you. I believe we made an agreement to seek to cure Uma my way. I said we would help you, that's it. I don't know what you want to do with them, you haven't deigned to inform us, but it's not safe, is it? Just as I thought. Which is why I think we should first try another, less invasive method. What's this method? Derives from folk traditions. I've used it many times. In 1211, to lift the curse that held the Swan of Povis, for instance. I'll take Uma into the mountains. What then? Will you howl at the moon together? A bit of respect. You're not talking to Geralt. No, we will not howl at the moon. I'll lay him down on a gravestone. Come midnight, I'll give him tea made of hemlock harvested from... But I don't see that I need to explain this to you. In my opinion... I know your opinion. But I'm not asking anyone's permission. I'm saying what will happen. I'll be back at dawn, with Uma, or whoever hides inside him. So, got the evening off. What do we do with it? Vesemir mentioned some roof beams in the tower need replacing. Maybe we could see to that. Or, we could have a drink. Sounds a lot better than the beams. Wouldn't mind a shot myself, or two. Nothing I can do. Been outvoted. Let's go. Uh, Yen, we don't have glasses. You alright drinking from a mug? I'd drink from an old boot tonight. <sighs> Perhaps instead of getting crocked in deep glum, we could do some catching up. What have you been up to, Lambert? Any interesting contracts before you set off in search of Keratin? Uh, yeah. Contract in Lan Exeter. Not to boast, but a pretty lucrative one. Yeah. Kavir's where the gold's to be made. Know how much they pay there for a drowner? Shush! I'm talking now. So this giant was giving him trouble. Attacking convoys, dragging folk off into the swamps. And relieving himself on the highway, rendering it dreadfully slippery. You've built enough suspense. Get to the point. Fine. Turned out, it wasn't a giant. Just a fat forest troll, and a group of bandits were ambushing the convoys. What did you do? Killed the bandits to keep the road safe. Then I killed the troll. Needed its uh, head to collect the bounty. Pragmatic as ever. You could stand to show some of Lambert's expediency. Set ideals like justice for trolls aside, keep yourself out of poverty instead. Knew the sorceress would see it my way. Eskel, that catacan we cut up together. Tell us how you nabbed him. A catacan? Oh ho ho, dangerous horse sons those. Finicky too. Specimen in question only went for young women from the upper classes. That's like me. We've no interest in your fantasies, Lambert. Whereas the vampire, even I'm curious to know how you managed. My clan threw a masquerade ball for the city's notables. To lure the vampire out of hiding. I was there too, disguised. Let me tell you, never had so much success with the ladies as I did that night. Mixing work and romance? Bad idea. Vampire could have caught you with your pants down. Suppose so. But you look the way I do, you gotta grab every chance you can get. <laughs> maybe you should wear a mask permanently. <laughs> and maybe you should wear a gag. What about the vampire? I'd made a deal with this young alchemist. She really loaded up. Fish tech, vodka, magic mushrooms. Went out into the garden. Vampire found her and drank his fill. 
fight was an afterthought. Hmm. A fairy tale on gluttony for modern times. Alchemist come out of it all right? Fine. Lost a bit of blood, I suppose. Hangover was the worst part. She drank nothing but pickle juice for the next month. Eventful times for me recently. Kings, dragons, conspiracies. And then, I found Yen. Yeah, we're thrilled for you. But why don't you tell us about Uma instead? <sighs> Long story. I was on Ciri's trail. Went to Velen, Skellige, Novigrad, where Dandelion needed saving again. He get caught plowing somebody he shouldn't have been? Right. Speaking of old friends Novigrad and plowing, how's Triss? Triss is managing all right. How are those scars she got at Sodden? Still there? Lambert. Not funny. Fine. Conversation turned serious? Let's talk. Yen, what do you plan to do with Uma? I said I'd tell you tomorrow. So tell us now. It's after midnight. I'll subject him to the trial of grasses, but only- You'll fucking what?! Uh, sorry. Looking to turn him into a witcher? Of course not. As I was about to say, I'll only apply the first half of the trial, because- Because you want to watch him suffer? Stop interrupting, or I will watch you suffer. To restore Uma's former appearance, we must first... Hmm... How do I explain it? Imagine a lump of clay. In order to shape it, you must first moisten it, or it will crumble. The trial's initial part does just that. It opens the body to change, so to speak. Only then can the mutagens produce a Witcher. What are the chances Uma will survive? Not great, but we've no choice. Unless Vesemir can do the trick with his hemlock. Might be surprised. Old man knows his stuff. It'll be the first trial in years. Decades. I knew you'd be wary. Wary? That's not the problem. Those secrets have been forgotten. And that's how they should stay. I'd be the last to suggest you start producing hordes of witches. You hardly need to. See, till now we had a great excuse not to take in apprentices. Seems we'll need to talk it over. Maybe later. Who's up for another round? Oh, I am. But we're all out of stuff to chew on. Geralt, mind raiding the kitchen? Not at all. Gentlemen, pleasure drinking with you. Lambert, especially. But the hour is late. Don't stay up long. Tomorrow's an important day. <laughs> Didn't listen, did he? They never do. What are you talking about? Sam Avila contract Esco got a while back. Good story. Finish it in a minute. First, some more fuel. Ooh. Now that's a kick in the liver. What is it? The gauntlet. Equal parts spirit and white gull. What's that look about? Yen's gone to bed. Time for some serious drinking. Damn straight. Pour us another. Bottoms up. this about a Sama Villa? Snared this peasant in her dance. Instead of being happy, he escaped with his life. Yoko fell head over heels in love. Wanted me to trap her. Turned him down. So he tried it on his own with a fishing net. Bet you they're still dancing a mazurka in some fallow field. Great story. With a moral, too. Really? What's that? Stay away from dangerous women. Yeah. 
you can breathe easy. Yen and I are not a couple, and we won't ever be one. Ah. Explains why the Sorceress Superior was so damn so. Lambert, drop it. Sorry, girl. That was, uh, insensitive. We didn't know. <laughs> you wanna... You know, wanna talk about it? No. I want a drink. Doable. Definitely doable. <laughs> Colder and up a nice giant's ass in here. Gentlemen, I shall return. Gotta go drain the drain. Gotta say, I'm pretty warm. He's always been a wuss about the cold. Remember winter 15 years ago, when the snow stayed around until Bellatane? Mm-hmm. Lambert sat by the fire, wrapped in a blanket. Cussed copiously every time it started to snow. Hello, youngins. Got your own little carnival going, eh? Alcohol, my good men, is a witcher's worst enemy. Where did you dig up that bonnet? Vesemir's trunk. The height of fashion in 1112. Old man probably put it on when he went courting. Or in the jargon of the time, wooing the damsels. Men, a witcher's life is not all cards and liquor. It is toil. It is labor. No gurgling babes to wean for us. Nay, not for us. All right. One Vesemir is enough. Take that off before you get it dirty. And pour. Oh, I'll pour, Esco. I'll pour. To the brim. Because without vodka, you're as stiff as a bookkeeper in a body cast. Come on. Let's have some fun. Are we boring you? No, it's just kind of... Slow. Pretty boy's right. Listen, there's this game, student from Oxenford taught me. Hmm? Someone starts by saying, I've never, and finishing the sentence however they want. Who's ever done that thing, downs a shot. Then it's the next guy's turn. Sounds great. You start. I've never slept with a succubus. How about that? Eskel, Eskel, still waters run deep. I'm a sucker for women with horns. Right, my turn. I've never, after a bender, woken up wearing nothing but my knickers. Geralt? Lambert's a lost cause, but you? What would Papa Vesemir say? I think Papa Vesemir would have drank that round too. All right, Geralt, your turn. I've never. Jumped out a lover's window. That's so. <laughs> Must have been one tough character whose wife you were plowing. That wasn't it. He was a friend. Didn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah. You're a true friend. Right. Men. Let's end on that. Or else I'll never be able to look you in the eyes again. <sighs> Vodka. Vodka's gone. Who's gonna go get some more? Already went. To get food. All right. I'll do it. Kitchen. It's that way, right? Lambert. Listen, you... You got a problem with me? Me? What? Why would you say that? Well, just seems that way. You know, you're a little like my little brother. Dumb and annoying. But a brother. Geralt, damn it, you're gonna make me cry. Come here. 
Damn. Broke. Good thing it was empty. Huh. Where's Esco? Should have moved back by now. We ought to look around. This is a job for Vesemir. Marian, take that hat off. Where's that whippersnapper wandered off to? He could be beleaguered, I wager. Come, men, to the rescue! Geralt? Spilled some wine, and crawled through it. Had to kneel down to see that? If I'd have bent over, I'd have puked. Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Esco! 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 Esco, you drunk! Get out here! Let's go. Chop, chop. Hey. You hear that? Sounded like... panting. Of a wounded wyvern. Damn it. I think he's hurt himself. Hang in there, brother. We're coming. Let's go. Chop, chop. Look, there he is. With his ever faithful little bleeder. Hello, Esco. Wake up. Uh, what? What happened? Got sloshed, stewed, and 57 other varieties of drunk. That's what happened. Get up. Time to have a drink. Let me alone. I'm gonna puke. Three of us get together, always ends like this. Let's find a fourth. Better. A woman. Nothing here but Yen. Oh, we don't want to wake her up, believe me. What about that sorceress you talked to? Think about it. We turn on the megascope, cordially invite her, she teleports here. Maybe bring some friends. How's that sound? Lambert. You're a genius. Of course I am. So, we inviting the lodge to our bash? Fuck yeah! Summon the bitches! All right, how's this work? Well, twist here, turn there, and you gotta say something in Elvish. Easy peasy, let's do it. Hey, hang on. When this Ida sees us, we'll scare her off. I mean, we don't look anything like sorceresses. I know. Yennefer's clothes. Let's dress up. Bags are over there. What's this thing you got for dressing up? Shut it, wise ass, or I'll lace your corset up so tight you'll shit in your bloomers. Stop whining, Eskel. Times you gotta squeeze into some f f f frippery. Uh, we don't tell a soul, understand? This stays here. Sure brought a lot of crap. You'd think she was moving in. Shh. You'll scare Geralt. <laughs> 